What's up my friends, David Moss Jr. here, and today I have the Ice Up Industries Iceless Plunge Barrel, and I have the Iceless Plunge Tub, and today we are gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison and a review so that I can help you decide which one of these Ice Up Industries products is best for you. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be the price because I believe that with Ice Up Industries, that is one of the biggest selling points is that they are an all-in-one iceless plunge that you can get for under $2,500. Both of these products you can get for under $2,500 with a one horsepower chiller that comes with a 20 micron filter, ozone treatment, and it has the capability of getting down to 39 degrees. There is an optional heater that you can get that will take you up to 104 degrees. So you can use either of these tubs and you can create a hot tub or a cold plunge or anywhere in between whatever's comfortable for you. Hey, and little side note, if you're going to be keeping this outside and you live in a wintry area where there is going to be snow, I highly recommend you opt to go ahead and get the heater. If you get the heater, that's going to help keep that temperature regulated. That's going to help keep anything from chilling or freezing over. So if you live in a snowy area, definitely opt for the optional heater. I want to be more specific on the pricing. You can get either of these plunges for under $2,500, but the tub is $100 cheaper than the barrel. The barrel at time of shooting this video is $2,490, including this one horsepower chiller. The tub is $2,390, including the one horsepower chiller. Now the optional heater is only a $200 upgrade. They both come with a one-year warranty and there's a three-year warranty as an option. That's $299 additional dollars. Once again, the prices are subject to change. And the reason I feel it's important to go over the pricing is because I believe if you're watching this video, you're looking for a value plunge. You're looking for a way to get cold or potentially get hot the most affordable way possible. And what I like about ISEP Industries is they were one of the first inflatable, inexpensive plunge companies, one of the most inexpensive plunge companies on the market and that's what attracted me and made me want to review them in the first place so to give you a quick recap of the barrel the barrel is pretty cool and I've done a full review on this barrel one of the things I liked about it is it's unique it comes with these inflatable steps the barrel itself is inflatable it has an inflatable lid that you can strap down we've actually had hurricane come through Florida since I've had this out here and if you read any of my comments where I'm like hey ISAP Industries is strong it's taken a beating I never took this down it's literally sat here on my dock my power at this house has been going in and out because it's a construction site so it's currently not on, but the water is still cold. It's a big mess, but you know what? I love this because it's been holding up very, very well, and that makes me impressed. A couple things that you're probably gonna wanna know is the barrel will hold 100 gallons of water. There's 38 inches of height inside the barrel and 29 inches of width. This actually does hold quite a bit more water, and if you follow me on Instagram, it's at Demos Jr. You'll see a lot of videos of my kids and their friends jumping in this one because we'll come out here and play around on the lake, and they get four and five and six of their friends in this barrel at one time. There's a lot of room inside. Another cool thing to note is because because it does have about four inches of insulated inflatable plunge around it, it helps keep the water really cool even when the power is off. Now let's talk about the size of the tub. Well, the tub is gonna hold 80 gallons of water. So it's gonna hold less water than the barrel, but they're two totally different feelings. When you're getting into the barrel, you're squatting down in an active position. When you're getting into the tub, it's more of a relaxed position. So you're able to kind of get your entire body underwater with less volume of water. I like to talk about the internal dimensions so you know what size that you have to work with, knowing that there's about four four inches around the outside of this tub. So you're looking at 51 inches of length, 24 inches of width, so a little bit smaller there for your shoulders, and 26 inches of height inside the barrel. So it's smaller volume, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a tiny person to be able to enjoy a plunge in the tub. It just means there's definitely gonna be a lot more room inside the barrel. All right. Oh man, see? I don't know if you can see it as well as I can see it, but I'll bring the camera down here and show you some shots. There's a lot more room in here than you would think. Once again, I'm six foot one and I can easily get completely under the top of where the water line would be in this tub. So for it to hold only 80 gallons of water, it's just dispersed differently, which is gonna make for a very comfortable plunge. You can sit, I mean, I can sit in here with my legs completely straight and my shoulders would easily be under the water. I'd be able to get a full submersion, which is really what you're looking for when it comes to this. You might've seen me do reviews on some of the other other inflatable cold plunge companies out there that might be a little bit more expensive, feel free to check those out. They'll be in the description of this video as well if you want some comparisons. But I'll be honest, it's almost identical, very similar. And hey, if you do decide to get yourself an Ice Up Industries tub or the barrel, you can use my discount code. It's Moss, M-A-U-S, and it'll save you $50 off of your purchase. I wish it would expedite the shipping. There seems to be a pretty long lead time with most of the cold plunge companies out there right now, but at least I can save you 50 bucks. So on the inside of the tub, you'll notice that you have two different holes that are actually gonna be accessible from the outside. That's where you're gonna attach your tube 
from your chiller. The top hole is actually where the water is gonna come out. Kind of keep note of that. That's where the water is gonna come out, create more of a circulation, a little bit of bubbly around the top of the water. That's gonna help keep that water crystal clear. And the hole at the bottom is actually where the water is gonna go into the filter and the chiller and the ozone and all that fun stuff. And the reason it's lower is because any sediment, any grass, any sand, anything that drops down to the bottom, it's gonna create a little bit of a circulation and cyclone in here. And hopefully it'll pick some of that up and it'll run that through your filter, keeping your water clean and cold, which is really important to me. And it's one of the reasons I like to make content on cold plunging because there's a lot of cheaper ways to get cold. If you live in the Arctic and you got cold water in a lake, go jump in that. There's a lot of people that will comment or send me messages and say, hey, you keep talking about these multi-thousand dollar cold plunges, but there's cheaper ways. You can just get a chest freezer. Yes, you can, but there's no circulation in a chest freezer. And almost every one of my personal friends who went the cheaper route, went the chest freezer route, went for one of the cheaper options, has since then purchased a different cold plunge that keeps the water clean, keeps the water filtered, keeps the water moving because there is a lot of maintenance. Think about it. If you have an aquarium with fish and you don't let the the water circulate. It doesn't matter how much ice you throw in there. That water is going to get pretty nasty pretty fast with your fish, right? And your fish are probably going to die. That's a whole nother story. But when you keep the water moving and you have a filter and you have circulation in that water, just moving water is going to help keep the water cleaner longer. So that's one of the major benefits to buying a cold plunge in the first place is that you just have your torture device that you know is ready for you with cold water anytime you want to jump in it. And you don't have to worry about making sure the water's not nasty. So while I have this not full of water, I want to show you kind of what the bottom looks like, the base, right? So it's just a really thick piece of plastic, whatever this material is out here. It's really thick. It's not insulated. So that's one thing to take note of, but it is really thick. It is military grade, which is cool. It is super light. So even if you have it fully inflated, it's very light, easy to move around, put it in the right place that you want. It does come with this carrying case, which is easy to take with you if you do deflate it. It also comes with this pump, which you saw me pumping it up in the beginning. And the lid is also inflatable and deflatable which is really cool. Has these nice little clips that you can clip the lid on, which I like because if you have kids that you're afraid are gonna start jumping in here, which all it takes is one time. Just let them get cold one time and they won't play with it anymore. So it is nice to have that though. Keeps the kids out of it, keeps the animals out of it as well. On the back side, as you can see, water in. That's where the water goes in. Here's your little pump. If you've never used one of these, they're very easy to use. And if you ever wanna know how to deflate these, all you do is you open this up. This little button right here, if you push it, you can hear the air coming out. All you do is you push it and twist it and that'll let all the air come out. You can also use the pump over here, reverse it and it will actually suck all the air out. And then this little cap just kind of keeps everything nice and tight. Over here is the water out. This is where the water comes out and everything's already threaded in there. Very easy to put together, very easy to connect to your chiller. And if you're comparing it to the barrel, as you can see, the barrel is very similar. It's made out of the same stuff. It's currently not on because I have no power out here to my dock, which is a bummer, but the water's still cold. I just changed my filter down here, which is awesome. These are the tubes, one inch tubing. The water's gonna shoot right in there. Very similar on the back side here, water in, water out. And then that's where you're gonna pump it up. As you can see, the sun has been beating this thing up. It's also not, it doesn't help that it's out here on the lake where it gets rained on and like I said, beat up by everything. Now you do have these detachable, but also attachable, so they don't come off of the tube. You can if you need to, but those are the steps that are gonna help you get up and into the barrel, which is really cool. It's really nice. Same thing with the straps I was just telling you about. But a couple things you wanna know about the barrel compared to the tub is the tub, as you see, it's a little bit of a smaller footprint, right? I'm gonna try to see a little upper. It's a very similar footprint, right? Because you have the steps. It seems like it would take less space because it is a barrel, but when you add the steps, it's kind of similar, right? But you get a little bit more room in here. This should get a little bit more of a relaxing plunge. I don't know, at this point in this video, I'd love for you to tell me which one of these two would you choose? Save a hundred bucks off of the tub compared to the barrel, but for like the same price, like which one would you choose? I'm really curious. Post in the comments below. Now let's talk about the chiller. Big fan over here. This is a good chiller. I've had no issues with it. Once again, I wish it was on for the sake of this video, but I do have a full review of this setup. I will post at the end of this video if you want to check out, and I go a lot more into detail on the chiller itself. This has been outside for months since the day the owners of the company came and helped me set this whole thing up, which was unnecessary. It was the easiest setup. And I mean, these things are not hard to set up, just so you know. It has this beautiful little waterproof case, which I'm gonna try to open it up with one hand. But here's how you'll turn it on. This is how you'll turn the temperature up, turn it down, set. And then this, you actually turn the UV on yourself. 
It's not gonna run ozone on its own. You press the button when you want to use it. It'll tell you what's actually happening over here, which is cool. But yeah, so basically after every time I use it, I just hit this button and it runs ozone for 30 minutes and it'll cut off. It is kind of nice because then you know when you're getting in it, as long as that little light right there is not on, that you don't have ozone running and you're not gonna be breathing it in. Well, there you have it, my friends. I wanted to do a shorter side-by-side -side comparison just so you can get the meat and potatoes of the difference between the barrel and the tub from ISAP Industries. If you're interested in getting one of these, you can use the link down below. You can use my discount code, it's MAUS. It'll save you $50 off the purchase of one of these. There's also a bunch of other affiliate links if you wanna check those out as well. All I ask in a really friendly way is that you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Share it with a friend if they're interested in getting an ISAP Industries plunge, only if you want to. And at the end of the day, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Ask me anything you want in the comments below if I didn't answer in this video. I love to respond to every question I get. But once again, have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Video, and God bless.